Let me welcome you to the smoke box. Windows up, couple in rotation. I boxed out about three or four faces. Welcome to another edition of the High Times Cannabis Cup Be Real TV Smoke Box Edition. I got like some very cool people in this bitch. Hold up, let me light this up. I got Steven Carpenter, aka Steph Tone from the Death Tone. We got Justina Valentine. We got King Caesar up in here. That we breathe in. Get your mask cause they tweaking Lead them niggas, they some leeches I'm the king, you believe in And we cutting off groups Half of the shit is my revenue And uh, C- minus is back there Legendary DJ If you don't know, you better do your homework We got Damon Steele, Blazer of the Medication Show Up here in the smoke box And uh My first question To all, to all of you one at a time We'll, we'll go uh, ladies first how is, how, how's your Cannabis Cup experience been so far? Man, it's been amazing. You know, I'm from the East Coast, so uh, it's my first one. And when I first came to the show, B, your whole crew told me about it. They're like, you have to come. Right. So I'm out here um, shooting for a while and now. I hit the crew and I was like, I'm on the West Coast. And then Adam was like, yo, come rock the stage. I was like, I got to come check B. Put me in the, the smoke box. I mean, she couldn't get much better right now. So couldn't get much I'm loving better. it. Yeah, we couldn't get much higher. For real. And uh, what about you, King Caesar? I mean, I know you're from the East Coast, too. You're NYC. Yeah. This got to be, like, practically culture shock for you, right? Yeah, it's, 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 it's a different experience out here. You know, it's different from being back home. So, like, it's just like a blessing. That's the way it needs to be out there. Yeah, yeah it needs right. to be like this out there. Yeah, but it's hard out there, you know. It's a lot going on. Yeah, it would blow up. Yeah. If this shit was out there. It'd be uh, snow right now. Oh, for yeah. sure. That's all right. Well, we got to do a different part of the year or something. Yeah, I'd be indoors. What about you, Steph Tom? This is my first cup, and it's beautiful. It's everything I wanted to be in, in, in a party like this. It's, I, I've told everybody, I feel like I came to the fair, the weed fair. or The, the weed fair. Or the, I went to Nam, but the Nam of weed. The Nam of weed. <laughs> Wham. <laughs> Wham. Shit, man. Yeah, it's awesome, man. Great people around. Everybody's really cool. Everybody's having a great time. It's a, it's a, it's a really good, positive experience out here right now. Everybody's in an elevated state of mind here, and and that brings me to a question to you, Justina, because I know you you did a show here or you're doing a show tonight, right? And uh, is this the first time performing in front of like a, a cannabis culture crowd? Um, I wouldn't say. The first time I've done like we related like you know 420 and stuff events, right. but definitely the first time of it being of this magnitude, right. you know where it's like the fucking you know like a Disneyland for weed. Like if yeah. you're a weed smoker, here's your fucking Disneyland. Like Valhalla. You know, so it's like definitely the first time of this magnitude for sure. This is like a warp tour, you know, a, a big festival with weed. So yeah, definitely the biggest and the best, and it's just. Cool, man. Adam had me shooting the gun with the weed coming out. People are going crazy. How, how did you feel about the performance? Were they like right there with you? Yeah, I thought it, I thought it was dope. You know, I knew like I was going to be performing for Stoner. So I wanted to, you know, do my best Stoner set and shit. Even though I gave him some turned up shit too. I had a freestyle for him, all that. And they were cool, man. They were super cool. Crazy. So yeah, definitely a cool experience. And definitely, yeah, my, my first time doing an event like this for sure. Right on. Would you suggest to the Dove Tone Brothers to, to do this event? I would suggest yeah. it to them, but I feel like our normal crowd is already doing this. They're, they're already doing it. I feel like this is already our audience. They're already doing they're this. They're already here. We huh? just didn't bring the booths and all that shit. That's all that's missing from, from it. You just got to go plug in. Yeah. And then boom. <laughs> Man, imagine if we would have had that Kush band going on still. I, right it, now would have been the perfect time to fucking jump off of this shit. I think there's always time for it still. There's always time for a research. Yeah, that's how I say. You know, in some new shit, you know what I'm saying? Like on some independent shit, you know, King Caesar. Is, is this like a the type of environment and the type of culture you want to tap into musically as well? 
yeah, definitely. Like, um, I got a lot of ideas, you know, coming out here and seeing a lot of things. So, it, it, yeah, this, this environment is different, but it's something that you can blend into and, you know, making it to something good. Would you say when you make your music, you're in a, like an elevated state, you fucking, yeah. you know, smoke out before you, you get down with your shit? <laughs> yeah, I have to be. Uh, I feel like it's a spiritual level to me, you know what I'm saying? get on that stage and uh, make music like that. That's what's up. And how about you, Justina? You, you be chiefing before you go on? Yeah, or I, after? Do, I do it both ways. I'm not like like ritualistic with it. Like, you know, oh, yeah. shit. You know, I got to be um, high or I can't be. A, yeah, like as soon as I got on stage, I saw someone with a blunt in the crowd. I was like, you got herpes? He was like, no, I was like, oh. I took his blunt, I started smoking it. That's a good question. Yeah, I mean, hey. And even though he said no, I still wiped it off because he didn't have the funky field tips. You see, what I'm saying? you see how that works? He didn't have the correct tips on it. You see uh, what she just did there? Yeah, we do it, B-Bill. Come on. But, um, but yeah, I mean, hey, if I can smoke before I get on, great. And if I can't smoke after, it's, you know, to me, it's, I'm high off life, but we get me even higher, so it's like, I'm, I'm good either way. And I know Steph told you, you, you know, listen, there was at one point in my life. I'll smoke all day. I'll smoke <laughs> right before I walk on stage. I'll take a dab on stage. Definitely gonna dab after I get off stage. I don't know, people call me the highest man in the world, but I tend to tell people that Spark and Steph Tone, listen, here's a story I don't tell too many people, right? When I first met Steph Tone, I was down to four joints a day. I had broken way down, Where'd right? Where'd you come from? Where'd you come down from? Smoking all day. Okay, right? I, I broke it down, broke it down to four joints a day, right? I meet this guy, we become friends, and this guy's smoking weed like a cigarette smoker smokes fucking cigarettes. Like, join after join after join after join. And listen, I come from the thing where if he's gonna roll one, I gotta roll one. If he's you gonna roll one, because I gotta match him. That's the classy thing to do. So me and this guy would be smoking like trains, like choo choo fucking puffing. And uh, this guy, you know, he he like got me back on the animalistic style of smoking. So thank you very much. Ooh, so in, huh? I'm here. I, I want. I'm here to report on the power of the dab, the concentrates. Uh, you know, I got at least a solid 20 year, 20 years of daily smoking to my to my name. But aside from the times where I simply just didn't have it because it wasn't available, ran out, whatever the case, right? right? I'd say up until about. Um, Almost 2010, you know, at that time, I was I was mixing my joints all the time with tobacco even too, you know, making yeah. them Swiss style. Euro right? style, yeah. Euro style. And lots of times, lots of times I did that, you know, I, I actually enjoyed the high better. I thought it was a better high, you know, smoother, more potent high. It kept all the all the extra knuckleheads off the joints so it lasted <laughs> longer, you know. Nice but, strategy there. Yeah, and, but you know what ended up happening is, you know, I, I developed a mean cough during these days, right? So about uh, the end of 2011, almost is, is when I started, just when I got turned on to the concentrates and the dabs. I've been almost entirely 100% dabs since then. I don't wake up in the middle of my night grasping for my breath. And I know I never, the, I I never wake up in the morning gagging anymore. Like I, I erased the cough. The cough. Yeah, yeah, I noticed the cough. And, and I'm only saying this because I've been a cigarette smoker the entire time. I never stopped smoking wow, cigarettes, yeah. but I got, dabs got rid of a nasty cough that I had. When I switched to dabs, I ain't, I ain't got no more cough. When I start puffing on the flower, I'm gonna be choking it up tomorrow morning after you this still session. Still cigarettes with it? I still no 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 I don't I, I don't mix them no more no that, that that was that was crushing me that was crushing and I noticed the cough is gone because I remember you were hacking them up you know what I'm saying because of the cigarettes and then the weed and, yeah I, I'm just say, I, I'm just here to say that it it's a physical fact that I don't gag anymore thanks to dabs thanks all to hell dabs, dabs. Thank you, dabs. Mm -hmm. where were you 20 years ago <laughs> how, how about you just you dab honestly. I get high really easy. I have a low tolerance. Right. Drinking, smoking, I like to party, I like to turn up, I like to have fun. But I get drunk and high easy. It's so about I'm, knowing your limits. I yeah. definitely, I'm a lightweight on I'm, the drink. I'm a, yeah, I'm a cheap date. Like, I drink a couple drinks, I'm good. I smoke, and I'm I'm good. So, it, like, for me, <laughs> but I like that. Because I'm a female, and, like, you know, I like that. Like, I can get high easy. That's good. Smoke a half a blunt, be ready to go right, and whatever, you know? You hear that, guys? 
I'm a cheap day. Cheap day. Oh, y'all bring a 20 and a pack of Corona. Smoke half a blunt, you know what I'm saying? All, I'm all so, hail the dabs. You know, oh, one man. one good dab, you just took your whole blunt right there. I never there. dabbed. I haven't dabbed Didn't dab stink yet. up your place or nothing. King, yeah. <laughs> King Caesar. It, like, for you, the dab culture is, is pretty much like some new shit to you, right? Because, I mean, this is very rare in NYC, right? Like, I mean, y'all know the dabs. Yeah, well, I know. mean. In the country. Yeah, we know about the dab, but like it's definitely nobody, more prevalent out nobody here. really take it like, out there. That's why I hear it. <coughs> when I came out here, some guys telling me about it, I was just like, uh, I don't know. A lot of people are on wax so back there too. Yeah. 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 Have you tried? Have you tried a dab yet today? I haven't. I've never uh, tried a dab before. Oh, well, if you do, uh, I never have. If you do, take small ones. You okay. know what I'm saying? Don't let nobody put a big old glob. Yeah, do it yourself. Because your someone else ain't gonna okay. do no. Ain't no one gonna give you no small you dab. Small. You know what? Because you want to you taste. You want to taste the flavor. Okay. And you don't want to get too fucking high if it's your first okay. time. Because if you take too much. You're gonna get anxieties. Yeah. You're gonna feel like I need to get the fuck out of here. Everybody's looking at me. And realistically, you just need to like breathe through that. But at the time, nobody's gonna be telling you that. So I'm telling you, we are, if you ever get the anxieties, go to sleep through it. Just, just go to sleep. No, just breathe through sleep it. it off. In through eye. your nose, out your mouth like a meditation. Go Easy. outside. Get some yeah. air. Yeah. I mean, I like to smoke because when I've done edibles and stuff, I don't like edibles. Oh, I don't like how they hit you at once. I like to smoke and get high gradually. Edibles you know? is too much. It's too I don't like edibles. Huh? It's too inconsistent. Uh -uh. No, I, I chew some of the gum today, but... One time you might get nothing, the next time you, you, you get running around like a yeah, maniac. Man, I don't get too like too much, it. Yeah. I don't fuck with edibles. I like to just smoke. Now, running around here, everybody here we know is a flower smoker. Like, well, you, you've converted. You've smoked. I'm converted. But, uh, all hail dabs. All hail dabs. But has there been any flower out here, any any strains out here that have caught your eye while you've been out here, Justina? For me, I like sativa. And, um, you know, thing for me, kind of like you said, I'm the type, I'll smoke type of, some types of weed in New York, and I, I just don't like how they make me feel. Right. And I'll smoke other type of weed, and I'm like, great, but in New York, no dispensaries. It's just, everyone, weed is pip, loud. They got the same names for everything, yeah, haze. That's how it is on the East Coast. Out here, you could find the specific strain you like, yeah, yeah. and so that's what I do when I'm out here. I like sativas and, you know, I like Blue Dream. I like to just stick to stuff that I know. Is it, is it Blue Dream? Blue Dream. Because I have, Blue yeah, right? Yeah, so the I just think, yeah, I like to just think <laughs> to what I know, what I know I get a good high with. That's what's up. How about you, King? Man, being out here, I tried um, Dark Beta, right, and um, Sour OG. Sour OG, nice. That was the business, Beast. Huh? It was too beasty. Right? Too That's beastly. what we say back home, like if something is wavy, it's too beasty. Too beasty. All right, that works. Shit, I can get down with that. How about you, Steph Tom? I, um, I, like I said, I haven't been, haven't been on the dabs now for a while, and it, it, it's been a... Which dab, which dabs, which flavor of dabs then? I'm, I'm, my, I'm still as a, as, a, as a personal favorite on flavor and 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 the the great experience. Paris OG is still my favorite. But with that being said, there are so many great ones out there. And I think what I love so much about the dabs, besides all the obvious ones, is that in, in the old days I, I would have only been a complete snob and been all about the OG Kush because right. it's the best tasting and all all of the other Hands great down, Yeah. But I've also been a realist too, you know, I don't have OG Kush with me every moment. I'm going to have whatever you have and whatever you have right now, whether it be Sativa, uh, Indica or a hybrid, I don't have anything. So your <laughs> your bud has now become the best bud that's available because it's what's available. Well, that would be some I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't even know what type of strain it is or nothing. Jeff Fuel OG, right, Chad? <laughs> your motherfucking paper. You know, I, and so, so, so with that being said, you know, the dabs, you know, what's been so great about dabs is in the old days where I would have been, you know, stuck up and be like, nah, it's not Kush, I'll be all right, you know. Now your 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 lesser than, you know, strains have have way more uh, more room in the in the market, you know, because it's the different flavors and these and, and ultimately we're still going for the THC content, and, you know, and if you want the CBDs and all that, but right. so you know, all these other flavors that I would have ignored before, you know, they're all tasting great. They're all tasting to me now. right now, hell yeah. And I, I ultimately, I really never pay attention to the names anymore because it's way too much. It's a name game that's just gone out of control. And I just right. want, give me a dab one, two, three. Let's put it on a grid. Let's, let's grid it up. Right. I want number 28. Okay. 
That was for me. 28 looks good, and man, it tastes beautiful. That's muddy. I'll say for me, in this cannabis cup so far, aside from, you know, our uh, jet fuel, of course, um, the lemon tree is very delicious. You know what I'm saying? If you are here and you tried the lemon tree, I'm sure you will agree with that. But uh, yes, and if you haven't tried any lemon, lemon tree, you should. And if you haven't tried any jet fuel, you really should. Anyway, it, it's from the OG Kush line that Steph spoke of. That's the best of the best. The best of That's the best. just all there is to that. You know what I'm saying? So there it is. All right, this has been another smoke box. High Times Cannabis Cup Edition, Be Real TV. Bringing it to you live with my friends here. You know what I'm saying? We got Justina Ooh. Valentine, Little King Caesar, Steph Tall. You know what I'm saying? Got that Flesco, right? Yeah, That's right. Uh, and we got, uh, we got, we got C, <laughs> and we got C minus, and uh, Damon Stale Blazer in the house. You know what I'm saying? Leave your comments, sub uh, uh, subscribe to the channel. We gotta get back out into the motherfucking cup. Peace. Let me welcome you to the smoke box. Windows up, couple in rotation. Hot boxed out about three or four faces.